You are now going to take your mathematical thinking and you are going to put it into words. Students don't usually get to vote on what they learn in school. You might need to do more than one of these. But these kids at William Smith High School in Aurora chose to take Chelsea Auden yeah. and Matt Diorio's class. Okay. One based on a 2020 vote. Colorado voters did decide to bring wolves back into our state. And so now thinking about these different perspectives, what does coexistence look like? Chelsea comes at wolf reintroduction from the math side. Specific number. Matt's the English teacher. And we started with reading Three Little Pigs and uh, Little Red Riding Hood. Separate the myth from the facts. The two connect over a divisive issue. 50.9% of voters voted to reintroduce wolves into Colorado, right? For both me and Chelsea, who the wolves are a passion. So your challenge today is to think about what is the appropriate number of wolves for the state of Colorado based off the evidence in front of you. So All angles are examined. And why did they bring the gray wolves down? Do you remember? From advocates to ranchers. They want to take care of their cattle, but not as well as their like families because that's what brings them that profit. Yeah, more likely to steal a cow. Right, <laughs> than, than a wolf attack, right? So keep that in mind, right? Chelsea and Matt are pretty into wolves. This is a Yellowstone wolf. But their course is well-rounded. We want them to understand the different perspectives, not just like, oh, we love wolves, we want them um, here. I mean, just educate yourself before um, you say anything, I guess. This class shows that if English and math can be in one room together. It's like, oh, they came to consensus pretty easily. I maybe just... people who feel far apart on an issue like wolves can coexist too. Guys, we have four minutes. Did you guys finish? Okay, wait, let me give you your next step. Ann Herbst, okay. 9 News. So now